Johnny, you've written a million tunes, and, well, tell me, do you ever have any trouble with people stealing your ideas? Oh, sure. Once I wrote a great tune. Somebody switched the title and made a fortune with it. Really? Yep, I called it After You Left Me Out in the Melting Snow, It'll Be Tough Sledding Without You, Baby. Blue. <laughs> and then somebody went and switched the title. Oh, what, what did they call it? Chloe. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's a shame. You think that's bad? You should know how much I lost on Begin the Begin. Oh, Johnny, uh, something tells me we better continue filling out that order for an all-musical command. Well, I can't think of a better way to do that than to bring on our chamber music ensemble. You mean? Right. This outfit was asked for in lots of our mail and almost begged for in that letter from Alvy, Blinky, and George over in Sapano, Japan. Here's your answer, guys. The Benny Goodman Sex Set. B.G., I just love that sex set. You should excuse the expression. Uh, thank you, student. Johnny, I consider that quite a compliment from you. After all, you write music. But, Benny, you arrange music. Well, is that right, Benny? Well, uh, yes. Uh, why, Marilyn, did you know that when I was just five years old, my mother found me ad-libbing my own arrangement of three little words? Oh, that's wonderful. Your own arrangement of three little words. Hmm? Was she impressed? Hmm. You should have seen the expression on her face as she washed out my mouth with soap. <laughs> hmm, it's a good thing we got that letter asking us not to have comedy on this show, because... Uh, not to have comedy, but I have right here a letter from a gang of Joes stationed in the Marianas who said the command performance always has a lot of music. How about a little comedy for a change already? So? 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 I brought along a young man who was in the service himself. He's doing great in nightclubs and... Uh, by the way, he's taking off from Earl Carroll's tonight. Dave Barrett. Uh, 
Thank you. Thank you very much. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Gee, I feel wonderful today. I finally got a call from my car dealer that my new car has arrived. And so my wife and I rushed down to the car lot, and boy, we were really thrilled as we got in to try it out. First, I stepped on the starter. <laughs> then I threw her in first. <laughs> made a right-hand turn. <laughs> threw her in second. <laughs> made a left-hand turn. <laughs> threw her in high. <laughs> made another right-hand turn. <laughs> And by that time, I was out of the parking lot. (laughs) (laughs) Then I turned to my wife. I said, okay, honey, we got a brand new car. We're rich. Let's dine out tonight. Where would you like to eat? She said, "Uh, how about the olive drab helmet liner? (laughs) That's the veteran's version of the brown derby. (laughs) I said, but honey, we're not that rich. I insist, she insisted. So I drove up to the place I sold my car, and we went in. All the Hollywood personalities were there holding a big party. Sydney Green Street. <laughs> Each famous star brought along an unknown character as their protege. First, Humphrey Bogart got up and said, Hiya, folks. <laughs> I'd like to have you meet a pal of mine. If he appears nervous tonight, you'll have to forgive him. <laughs> you see, he's at that awkward age. Too old for comic books and too young for Esquire. <laughs> This guy hears double, sees double, and drinks double. Southern's greatest comfort, meet Dipsy Doodle. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> Darn those double shots. <laughs> My bartender mixed me a new drink last night. It's called Old Buttermilk High. <laughs> Three drinks and you turn all night. <laughs> Well, I'm working on my own drink. It's called a zombie, 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 and old brother. You drink three zombies and old brother. <laughs> well, anyway, when I, I guess I'll go home and see my wife. I got the most brutal full wife in the whole world. <laughs> they say that marriage is a road to heaven. Well, if it is, I'm on a heck of a detour. <laughs> well, goodbye, goodbye. <laughs> Hello? Olive Drab Helmet Liner, Archie on KP speaking. Oh, hello, Duffy. Oh, the business? Staggering. Customers likewise. I'm telling you, Duffy, the place has become a regular separation center. Already I've had to separate three guys. Oh, we're holding a party tonight, Duffy. Yeah, all the similar stars are here with the proto GG. In fact, I'm introducing one myself. He's a crooner, Duffy. Crooner. That's uh, C R U U N E R. Well, you know how Frank Sinatra bought fame to New Jersey and uh, Rudy Valley brought pride to Maine? Well, this guy does nothing for Brooklyn. So allows me to introduce Bing Barry, the Brooklyn Viper Dog singer night and day. Through the beat, beat, beat on the umpire's head in a Brooklyn Dodgers brawl. Through the tick, tick, tock of the cuckoo clock as it cuckoos on the wall. Through the drip, drip, drip of the faucet when the pipes are all worn through. So a verse within me keeps repeating, use, use, the use, night and day. Use it the one. <laughs> Only use beneath the moon and under the sun. Whether near to me or far, it ain't no matter where you are. I think of you, day and night, night and day, under the height of me. As I know such a poison joining, joining inside of me, and its torment won't be true till you leave me spend the rest of me life making love to you, Lippy and Day. 